In that previous piece there, uh, one of the uh, affected parties, uh, the beauty uh, salon owner, I believe she was, said, if, if we're relying truly on science and data, show us the science and data on which you're making your decisions. Is that something that you agree with, that you haven't seen the science and data uh, that stands behind the lockdowns or the proposed lockdowns on both indoor and outdoor dining? Totally agree with her, and I have so much respect that all these people are standing up. You know, it's kind of like in California, we were given a 24-hour notice you know, on Saturday that, you know, you've got to shut down and I'm sorry that you have all this food ordered and you have all these hourly employees that you're going to have to let go. And yet 20 percent of retail can be open. So how when you when you take a huge restaurant and you are only allowed to have 25 percent anyway, and I'm not even talking about outside, but even 25 percent inside where we're able to keep distances of 12 to 15 feet apart. How is that an issue? And then all these people in California went out and spent all this money on tents and heaters and walls to make it in carpet to put out in the parking lot. And, and what's the difference in sitting out in the parking lot or walking on the beach or, or going for a jog? And, you know, I've said this and finally I hear other people saying it. Everybody that's making the decision to shut down is still getting their paycheck every week. And it's really a shame because they don't understand what they're doing to these people. And there's not a stimulus. And even if there was, it takes weeks and months because it's so backlogged. But everybody that makes this decision gets their paycheck. And, and they're cruel for what they're doing to the American public right now. And, and, to the, and, and I think you would say at the end of that sentence is to the, to the workers who are going to lose their jobs and be displaced. I mean, that's where it really starts to hurt. Totally. Because, because these are the folks who are trying to scratch their way through and up the chain. If they would just immediately say, you just keep making your hourly payroll. We're going to send you the money, you the business, we are going to fund your hourly payroll. Please take care of the hourly employee. That's all I ask for the U.S. government. I want nothing. Take care of my employees. Yeah, let's talk about, I mean, I, I, I want to play a little bit of devil's advocate. I mean, in those areas where they've allowed retailers to stay open with uh, limited capacity and so forth, is there data that you know of that shows that that is safer than indoor dining with limited capacity? or outdoor dining, dining with, with whatever capacity. What do you know about what the numbers say here? I, I talk to so many different experts. I'm invited on so many different calls. I'm on the governor's task force here in Texas. And everybody talks a different language. It's no different than analysts picking a stock, and five love it and five don't. Nobody says the exact same thing. We don't know exactly what the science is. Do we know that this virus is very contagious? Yes. But, but we don't know that sitting in a restaurant 20 feet from somebody else is going to give it to you. Okay? So, but yet, this is what's so unbelievable. You can get on an airline and sit shoulder to shoulder with somebody, and it's okay. Why is it all right for somebody? And I'm not going after my great friends in the airline business, but, but why are you allowed to fly shoulder to shoulder, but you can't eat in a restaurant or go into a retail store? Why are we not worried about why is a restaurant employee less of a human being than an airline employee or some of these other industries? Yeah. It's, it's a, not fair. Why can you go into... No, and I'm going to do it again. I'm going to tell you why can you go into grocery stores and, once again, one of the greatest companies in America, your Home Depots and companies like that, and be shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder shopping, employees everywhere, but it's okay. But for some reason, we want to abuse the hourly employee in the restaurant industry. And uh, it's, it's really a shame because those are my employees. That's who I've grown to grow up with and love. I've had hourly employees right. that have been with me for 30 years, and it's a shame. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.